My name is Bill Netherland, and I'm the wine director for a group of restaurants in Charleston, South Carolina, HMGI. Uh, the restaurant we are in uh, tonight is Cypress Restaurant on, on East Bay Street. With a dish like uh, roasted oysters with uh, ginger soy butter, I feel like clearly a white wine is uh, in order. Um, there are a couple of options. Uh, you could certainly do sparkling wine, champagne, but I feel like with a roasted component, uh, something crisp like a, a burgundy, white burgundy. Uh, so it has a little bit of uh, kind of a toast to it, but it has plenty of acidity and minerality to complement the, the saline nature of the oyster dish. For a hearty meat dish, like a, like a strip steak or something, I like Merlot with, or Merlot blended wines. Personally, I, I generally gravitate to wines from the old world, like I mentioned before, Bordeaux. Uh, certainly, I think also Brunello or some sort of Tuscan red and other, another Tuscan red would be uh, fantastic for that. Dessert pairings become uh, kind of a personal thing, and there are personal preferences that, that people have. People, people like to complement uh, sweet with sweet or rich with rich, or they like to have a foil, something that has a sharper edge to it that help cut through some things. I would enjoy uh, certainly something I think sparkling with that, like a, a glass of Rude Rosé champagne. Is there a right or wrong way to select a bottle of wine? I, I don't believe so. I, I'm, wine is a very personal thing, as I mentioned earlier in, in the pairings. You should drink what you'd like. I think the most important thing in selecting wine and making wine and making food is balance, uh, a balanced wine, meaning it's not too high in alcohol, it's not too much of an oak influence, it has uh, a proper amount of natural acidity, fruit component will complement any well-balanced dish.